Hey guys, today we're going to make a bar graph that you can use with any of your sensors and this little Nokia 5110 display. And of course this will work with any of the displays we've talked about in the previous videos except the uh, 16 by 2 LCD displays. So we have the uh, 5110 set up with its SPI lines going to the pins. I'm not going to go over that. That is explained in the code. And it is feeding 3.3 uh, volts ground and 3.3 volts for the backlight. So we have 3.3 coming over from the Arduino, ground coming over from the Arduino. And then standing in for a sensor so that I can actually show you how this will respond is simply a 50k potentiometer it's plugged in the outer pins are plugged into plus 5 volts and ground and the wiper is plugged into a0 so that when I rotate it we get an effect on the screen this is a pretty cool little uh, program to use and it's very simple let's go take a look at it right now okay so here's the code for the custom bar graph First we will start with our includes, our libraries. We need the serial library because we're using the uh, 5110, which is a serial interface, the SPI interface. And then <clears throat> we actually need the library to drive the display and the graphics library. This time we're actually going to use the graphics library. Now right here I just have the pinouts for you okay then we have our library set up Adafruit PCD8544 the object is called display and then we just have our pin set up very simple two variables X and I then we're going to go down here pin mode A0 is our input we're using an analog input here to read from our sensor we start the display we set the contrast we show anything that's in the buffer wait a hundred milliseconds and clear the display now we come to the main loop of our program we set X to the value of analog read a zero and then we map I to the value of X so, full range on that analog input is 0 to 1023, and the full range for our bar graph display is 1 to 78. So that smooths everything out and makes it nice and pretty. Now we're going to start by drawing the outline for our bar graph display, and it follows this format, display.drawRoundRect. And the parameters are your starting position X and Y the actual width in pixels that you want it to be the height in pixels that you want it to be the radius of the corners and the color so here's the actual command we say display draw around rect X2 Y26 with a width of 82 a height of 20, a radius on the corner of 6, and the color is black. And that draws the outline for our bar graph. Next we set our display text size as 1, set the color to black, we put the cursor in the upper left corner, we give it a nice little heading display print line bar graph, and we're using the print line so it drops down a line. Then on the next line we print x equals and then a space. Then we print the value of x. And here is where we're going to draw the actual bar graph. And it's this command here, display fill rect. And it follows pretty much the same parameters. Starting position of x, starting position of y, the width, the height, and the color. So our actual command here, display 
fill rect starting at 430 with a width of I a height of 12 with a color black and now remember everything right through here well actually everything from here down has been set to the buffer it hasn't been displayed yet so right now we display it and then we delay it then we clear the screen and we go back to the beginning with our analog read pretty simple let's go see it in action all right everything's hooked up here and you can see we have our header we have our X value showing and here is the outline that we created with the text draw round rectangle here's the potentiometer and as I rotate it you can see how the bar graph reacts let me zoom in here for you a little bit So the resolution is really good. With a 100 millisecond display, we get pretty good reaction time. I mean, you're not going to be able to use this for audio unless you adjust the reaction time with that millisecond delay. But other than that, I think it works out pretty well. So I hope you like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment, share. And please subscribe. I'll see you next time.